Rev up your engines. Kevin Freak says, hey, Scotty, how do you feel about Elio's motors? Okay, well, I made a video on that years ago. I went to L.A. La La Land and got to see the early mock-up and drove it around. I thought it was kind of cool and kind of fun. But it looks to me like he bit off more than he can chew. You know, he was planning on making this three-wheeled car motorcycle. And it had certain advantages that if you have one drive wheel like that, technically it's a motorcycle. So that means that one person could drive that car on the contra flow lanes in the big cities and that's a big marketing thing for people that live in big cities they could use the contra flow with only one person they never produced any actual cars they had mock-ups and stuff but they never produced any car and the last i looked the company was like had assets of like one hundred twenty thousand dollars and debts of millions and from what even elio himself said the uh company probably needed 200 something million dollars to get up to productions and with those kinds of assets I don't think they're ever going to make any cars they did lease the old Hummer factory in Louisiana to build them but they've never actually built any cars there so I doubt if they're ever going to make any Elios I thought it was an interesting idea but you know a lot of market factors came in gas got cheap so people didn't care about a car that might get really good gas mileage they'd rather have a safer more secure car so I think that you know time is up for Elio, he should just give up and realize he's never going to mass produce any cars. Maybe time will prove me wrong, but I doubt it. Kurt Rathwell says, Scotty, what do you think about Mazdas? Are they worth keeping up? Well, if you have a car and it runs, it's worth keeping up to a certain extent. How far do you want to go? If it runs good and you're not spending much money on it, great. If it's a Mazda, and the automatic transmission starting to go out and you find out it's going to cost three to five grand to fix it no then you'd get rid of the car or if the engine was burning a lot of oil no but as anything if you own a car and it runs good keep driving around i even have customers that are driving chryslers that i say go ahead and keep your car because i explained to them if you try selling this car the most you're going to get is a thousand or twelve hundred dollars don't keep driving it and then when you bring it to me and i say well now it's going to cost over a thousand or twelve hundred to fix it get another car you know that's you have to be logical with cars don't ever get emotionally involved be logical and if you can find an honest mechanic like me which of course isn't that easy to do but if you can take his advice and follow along that way Deontay Rousseau says should I buy 98 and up Honda a quarter Civic for a thousand bucks well yes if it still runs and ships good why not you know a thousand dollars is nothing but you want to do a good road test because any car that's only selling for a thousand bucks hey a lot of times they're pretty junky and they're not worth buying that's the whole thing watch my video how to quickly check out a used car for purchase first and then do that it's only you know three four minute long video do everything in the video and if it passes the test go right ahead because a thousand bucks isn't much and maybe you're getting a good deal but you know it might be a pile of junk too so watch that video at least do those simple tests to see if it's a decent enough car to buy or not because you never know i've had customers get great cars for a thousand dollars if somebody just wanted money and when a car is you know if you're talking about a 98 that's a 20 year old car how much money are you gonna get for him Jordan Davenport says God I'm thinking about using a piston ring sealer to slow down oil burning on an 01 Corolla it has decent reviews on Amazon what are your thoughts most of that stuff is total scam you got worn metal it's worn there isn't anything you can do about it from my experience try this and this is the best thing that you can do without doing any kind of damage putting some crazy thing in that who knows what it's gonna do yes I've had customers with that same vehicle with the same problem of burning a little bit of oil and what I told them was I said change your oil and filter put in Castrol GTX and one quart of that Lucas oil additive it's a thick oil and that often would slow it down that's as far as I'd go I don't know about other additives that say they're gonna you know slow down oil burning and stuff I just know the best thing you can do with that vehicle is change your oil filter, put in Castrol GTX and one quart of the Lucas oil additive. And then whatever it does, live with it because you'd have to rebuild the engine otherwise. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.